This very well could be the future of large language models. The Gemini diffusion model is the first diffusion based text generation model from a really, really large lab like Google. This is a model that I just got access to. It's a smaller experimental version of Gemini text diffusion model. And this model is insane. You might think that, you know, just like trying to be clickbaity and that's why I'm saying it is insane. It's not. It is truly astonishing. And I want you to tell me at the end of this video, whenever you drop off, if you felt this model is insane and if you believe diffusion models could be the future. This is a very simple game I just created using Gemini diffusion. Let's quickly try out a very simple prompt and then see how it works. Create a five by five tick tack toe game with hot dog or not hot dog have a beautiful glowing ui and have the right scoring that's it i've just given this instruction and you can see that it started working and the code is almost ready the code is just just like that the code is available and the speed is astonishing 2206 tokens and total it just took 2.4 seconds so overall 904 tokens per second we do not know if this is running on some custom chip like how grok is doing but this is like absolutely stunning and very very fast so i've got hot dog or not hot dog so I just can just go play here I didn't say what symbols it should use so I can just go say can you update the icons to use the emoticons um, hot dog and and maybe snowflake I don't know why I've got this weird combination of hot dog and snowflake so you can see the code is updated as we spoke so hot dog snowflake hot dog snowflake and we have got a five by five hot dog or not hot dog tic tac toe this is like quite impressive. See, if you're not familiar with these things, so the diffusion models generate text completely different from how autoregressive models have been generating. An autoregressive model, the generation starts from the left hand side and goes to the right hand side, comes back to the left hand side, goes to the right hand side. And that increases the latency and it might also create a lot of other issues. But diffusion works completely different. It generates all the text like a corrupted text and then slowly fixes it and then finally gets back to the correct answer. This has been working very well with images and uh, we have not seen a lot of text diffusion models. This is quite stunning. Now let's go back and then instead of, you know, having some fancy questions, let's ask a question that we have been asking all the large language models. How many R's are there in strawberry? So as you can see here in strawberry, there are three R's. Just gave me the answer already. It says let's count the hours and it is trying to count R, R, but somehow it missed. It says two hours. I'm going to ask the same question again and see how it is going to perform. If it's going to have a, like a lot of variance um, in the answer. Okay. Now it says let's count the hours in the strawberry, strawberry. And somehow it did not highlight this R, but it still said there are three R's. That's very interesting. Let's try a very popular prompt by Simon Willison. Generate an SVG of a pelican riding a bicycle. So SVG of a pelican riding a bicycle. So we can just copy this, go to the SVG viewer, paste it, and then you can see there is a pelican riding a bicycle. That's quite interesting. It looks like a Tron bike more than a bicycle, but anyways, this is what it has generated. Now let's try our own version of needle in a haystack. So I've got this Wikipedia page where there is Fisher random chess appearing only once. I'm going to paste it here and then ask it to figure out, can you tell me how many times Fisher is mentioned here. So I've just up to, up, updated that and then said, it says Fisher is mentioned twice. Where are they? Which is like clear hallucination because it's been mentioned only once. You can see the name Fisher, Fisher random and uh, okay. So for the same thing, are you sure? Are you sure it's twice? Let's see if it uh, deliberates. Uh, okay, you're absolutely okay. My apologies, I miscounted. So it is only once. Okay, after we asked it to ensure that it is not, whether it is twice, it kind of corrected it itself. Next, I wanted to ask the math problem from the chain of thought paper to see if it actually does it without chain of thought. So this is a question. The cafeteria had 23 apples. If they used 20 apples to make a lunch and bought a six more, how many apples do they have? So let's see what is the answer. The answer here is nine. And then it says exactly nine. So now I'm going to ask the same question, but with a slight twist, if they used 20 bananas uh, to make lunch and bought six more, how many apples do they have? So it says identify the number of apples. So it says 
29 because we use 20 bananas. So identify the action involving bananas. They use 20 bananas. This information is irrelevant to the number of apples. So it made sure that even though I try to distract it from whatever the question is, it tried to stay on track with whatever the question that we asked, which is answer about apples. Create a simple HTML5 landing page for little coder labs, which is AI research consulting for fortune 500 in my dream actually but let's see so we have created a very simple just super fast very simple um i'm going to say can you add uh, some animations animations or things like uh, framer motions highlights yeah let's see if it can do something there and the the code is updating like the speed in which the code is updating you have to actually slow down the video to see what is happening now let's try out some logical reasoning questions so i've got this question that we have been asking llms ramya a girl has five brothers each brother has got two sisters how many sisters does ramya have send this question and then we are going to see gemini diffusion solving it ramya is a girl ramya has five brothers this means Ramya, there are like five boys in the family. Each brother has two girls. Ramya is one of the sisters. If each brother has two sisters, Ramya is one of them. Then there must be one other sister in the family. So therefore, Ramya has one sister, which is quite interesting. It has managed to figure out the right answer. And in this case, like when you see a question like this, for this kind of a complicated question, you can see that this speed has changed. So I can see that not because it's an autoregressive model, the speed in which it generates token might change based on how much it has to think. So the easier the question, the faster the tokens are. I don't know, this is my assumption. We don't have any technical paper at this particular point from Google explaining this, but it's just like my observation that when you ask a question that requires a lot more deliberation, so it thinks a lot, there is no like explicit thinking, but it takes a lot more time to give you the final answer. Let's move into math and then ask a math question. So Leo's assignment was divided into three parts. He finished the first part of his assignment in 25 minutes. It took him twice as long to finish the second part. If he was able to finish his assignment in two hours, how many minutes did Leo finish the third part of the assignment? The right answer is, let's see what it is going to say. So 45 minutes is the absolute right answer and it gives us the steps and it has taken 365 tokens per second to give us this answer and 45 is correct. So not that this model is very good with coding, but in my testing, like for, as you can see here, the model seems to be also good with logical reasoning. And it's very interesting to see that a diffusion model that just came out of nowhere. I mean, we have seen diffusion models for text before I've covered on the channel, but from a big research lab, this seems like a step up in the game of how large language models could be created. I believe this could be a glimpse of the future of large language models. Let me know in the comment section, what do you feel about it? I link the waitlist link in the YouTube description so you can go sign up for it and then play with this. See you in another video. Happy prompting.